now available on Tata Sky channel number 526. Five crore more homes, that is what is required currently to house every Indian and to realize the goal of housing for all by 2022. And developers are hoping that the upcoming union budget will give them the necessary momentum to deliver on these big numbers. Ashwarya Paliwal spoke to a cross-section of developers and consultants to find out just what exactly will spur the industry to make more affordable homes. Take a look. Prime Minister Narendra Modi gladdened home buyers and developers when he announced Housing for All by 2022 on June 25th last year. The scheme hopes to rehabilitate slum dwellers by roping in private developers, granting credit-linked subsidies to developers, buyers and people building their own homes. However, after the fanfare, precious little was done on ground to actually incentivize developers to make these homes. An industry is hoping the union budget will address this. Financing is a big challenge uh, on the housing and that needs to be really looked at it. Uh, bringing in new technology uh, and incentivizing the developers on bringing in new technology needs to be there. Land acquisition continues to uh, remain, a, remain a big challenge. So those are the, some of the things that I would say uh, if the government at a state level and perhaps at a center level can focus, uh, it will enable more housing to come in. Speedier and simpler approvals, particularly from the Environment Ministry, tops developers' wish list. The logic being that the sooner they start work on the project, shorter will be the turnaround time, which will help developers cut down on costs. Another demand is easy access to finance. I don't think we need any subsidies. I don't think we need any tax breaks. Because asking for these things really means that the business is not viable on its own. Make FDI 100% an automatic in affordable housing rather than the present complex methodology that we have. Affordable housing, in fact, is the most underserved of segments. That, however, does not mean that developers are not aware of its demand potential. In fact, a number of well-funded players are actively tapping this segment. So Happiness has seen a steady rate in terms of sales. Uh, we've sold today about 1,000 units between the two projects, which is just a little over a year since the project was launched, both the projects were launched. And to that extent, uh, they've been clocking regularly about, say, 20, 25 units a month. A boost to this segment will not only house more people, it could also turn around the fortunes of a sector where demand has just begun to revive. This budget, the consumer as well as developers are waiting with bated breath to see if more measures like reduction in land cost and reduction in taxation will help them in making and buying more affordable homes. Now, with just a few days left for the finance minister to present this budget, the suspense will be over whether this year it will be easier for the common man to buy his dream house or not.